Okay guys, so I have a little bit of time in between my morning classes and my next classes. I'm gonna go drop by my actual campus. Yeah, in case I haven't mentioned it, I go to SGH or SGH, the Warsaw School of Economics, and I'm currently completing a master's degree program. I think my experience there is different again <laughs> because of the pandemic. Um, so I feel a little bit like separated from the school as most people would when you're just connected virtually. At first, when I was studying, I wasn't even in the country. I have a book from last semester. I don't know why I checked it out in the first place. I mistakenly assumed that all required books on the syllabus would be needed, but that wasn't the case. So we're a little bit delayed in returning it, and I'm gonna try and quietly drop that and run. While I'm there, I'll definitely try and take some clips of the library main campus. Those seem to be the only two buildings that I've ever stopped in and the most relevant ones to show. And they're probably the cutest. I don't know what else is left, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, so you'll get to see some of my school and then we'll come back here and we'll continue the day with online remote learning. My hair do these shoes look dumb? Should I put my boots on? Like something about this length. So for the first time uh, ever since moving to Poland, I've been stopped by the authorities to check if I had an actual valid ticket and what I heard about it was true like these guys were just dressed like normal people getting on the bus so yeah anyway that was fun yeah so I just got here it's been like 30 seconds and it looks like the next train's arriving and leaving in a minute oh it just goes to show that <laughs> the trains come pretty often I think it's every four minutes and then the second thing I was gonna say is for the most part when I get on and I'm not traveling at rush hour right now but I have before and I've never had troubles getting a seat Liz even when I'm downtown like enough people get on and off that you can easily find a place to sit if you need so yeah to get to my school you just take the M1 train transfer to the only other line M2 and I take it a few stops, it's a couple minute ride, and then as soon as I exit, I'm right in front of the main building, which is pretty convenient. There are usually a lot more commuters <laughs> transferring here, but I guess because it's the middle of the day, I have it to myself, which is nice. So here we are, we've arrived. And just like I said, it's right outside of the metro station. In the distance there, you can already see trams also. Now that way, uh, that's the direction back toward the city. So if you walk that way, you'll be heading back into the center. That's also where the park is. There's a huge park nearby the school. Pola Mokotowskia. Pola translates to field. Mokotów is just the area here. So Eskeha is in what's known as like old Mokotów. So I'm sure in the summer, that'll be really nice. In normal times, I guess it would be really nice to have that park so close to the school. So here we are in the hub of things. This is the main entrance to the main building. This is where all the action happens, except it's very empty right now. Every once in a while, I'll see somebody leaving or entering the building. And then over there across the street, if you head that way, I think you'll find some of the Eskiha dorms. I'm not very familiar with them, but that's just what I've seen on campus maps. In close vicinity to the school and students. Um, but also inside of this main building, and I'll show you a clip in a second, there's a little cafe that looks pretty destitute right now, but I'm sure, again, if things ever open up, ever, when they open up, the cafe will be back in use and popping. Yeah, okay, let's go inside really quick.
Okay, so overall it's pretty dead in there as expected. Um, it's funny to me, I've come all this way just to return one book to the library, whereas normally this would be one annoying task at the end of my day that I would like try and work around other things I have going on, but this is just it, so... When I came here for the first time, I was intimidated. I was intimidated by this little booth here that you walk through. I felt like when I went to college, whenever you would enter the campus, even if it's a city campus, they would check your ID. So I guess Warsaw is just that safe. But yeah, you can just walk through. Nobody's gonna stop you, ask you what you're doing, or ask you to show your ID. Okay. And also is because I was worried they wouldn't have one of these. Please return books here. Okay, so that's perfectly resolved my whole undercover situation. Didn't have to interact with a single person. Check, no Polish, check. But I did promise I would take some clips so you could see what the library is like. So I guess I'm still gonna have to go inside. And I know because the last time I came here, beyond these super heavy doors, there's some security who's gonna like check my temperature. And the last two times I've always had my glasses on and they like steamed up. So it's been really hard to communicate with them without being able to see as well, just feeling kind of flustered. But this time we're with our contacts. So. <laughs> Someone here walking by just told me that you push this button and it opens these extremely heavy metal doors. <laughs> and this whole time I've been struggling. <laughs> so this was the only part of the campus tour I thought I would give. Let's get back to class. Okay, so maybe it's just me, but I find it cool that my student ID also functions as my metro card. I feel like it's easier to keep track of it and make sure I don't lose my metro pass. Like They're nice and sweet, and they have this nice smoky taste. Oh. This bus stop that I'm at right now, it used to be foreign to me. Like, I remember being here, my phone was dead, and I was like, okay, I know this one bus will take me home, and the stop says that the bus comes here, and now it's also familiar, and Warsaw's, Warsaw's getting a lot smaller. So, weird how that happens.
physical ability to be a If you have enjoyed this video and want to stay in contact, of course, if there's anything you want to see in Poland, just let me know. Well, let's skedaddle. I'm like, let's hit the road. And I'm... <laughs>